Consistent borrowing is much better than begging, just as lending with unreasonable interest is not much better than stealing. Borrowing away Nigeria. Just last week, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 general election in Nigeria, Elijah Atiku Abaka, raised some pertinent questions about the NMPC Limited $3.3 billion forward sale agreement loan with a pledge of 90,000 barrel per day that they took from Afrezin Bank at the rate of 12% interest rate to cushion the Naira. NMPC, though, in his response, claimed that the question raised by Atiku were already answered in the release announcing the loan, and that being a private entity, it doesn't need the National Assembly's approval to secure a loan. Fair enough, you would say. But now, here are my layman also questions. So I beg, follow me, small, small. Why was the forward sale of crude not done with one of the largest commodity trading companies in the world, like Vitor, Trafigura, Mercura, Glencore, and Co? At least, we all know that those trading companies will not be charging financing charges or interest rates of more than 12% from an NPC or sale of crude. They won't even charge interest. They, won't, they would also charge the said 2% for forward sale because it won't be a financing deal. Even though we know that interest rate in the West is less than 2% in most cases today. Also, the transaction fee of $67 million that went into private pockets of the banks that broker the deal wouldn't have been paid if the transaction was a commodity trade or a bit another way of settling election expenses. And then PCMD also securing his job. You know, remember I may fail in 2019 with the Mate deal. Anyway, well, time get plenty of things to explain to us. So I beg, just follow me small, small like this. It's a bit technical, but you will understand so that we all ask the same question. Why is NMPC borrowing for the federal government of Nigeria when they are not a borrowing or lending outfit? All they simply could have done would have easily increased their production from the miserable 1.3 billion million barrel per day to 2.3 million barrel per day. And with the oil prices hovering around $90 per barrel, they would have increased the forest available to the federal government. That would have increased the forest available to the federal government. And there will be no need to borrow at such a high interest rate. These are my layman question. So how much of this said $3.3 billion borrowed to help the Naira? How much has it helped the Naira? Because it was less than 1, uh, 1K to a dollar when an NPC entered into that transaction. But today, the Naira is hovering around 1,400 1, Naira to a dollar. So if care is not taken, we are going to see if all these questions are not asked. We are going to see more of our oil being mortgaged for transactions of this nature, all in the name of forward sale or agreement to hedge the Naira. That is why NMPC, with a profit of 2.5 trillion Naira in 2022, had a liability of 2.1 trillion in the same year, 926 billion in unpaid royalty and 1.2 trillion in unpaid taxes. Remember, NMPC stake in Dangote Refinery is valued at $2.7 billion, out of which the outstanding $1.7 billion will be paid for using the same method for what sale of 300,000 barrel per day of our crude. Also, there is another loan of $1 billion from Lekki Refinery Funding Limited, which was incurred at $36 million as cost of transaction. And yet, the total loan will be paid to the lender in crude of 35,000 barrel per day. Come on. All of this is mind boggling. As with the borrow, people, they clean out cost of transaction. I don't even want to talk about the NMPC deal of 8,000 barrel per day of our crude oil to secure the $300 million gas asset from Chevron or the 114 billion naira when NMPC said they spend on repairs and maintenance. How about the 193 billion on transport and traveling and 267 billion naira on security? And then almost the other one went off me. No explanation for this. 496 billion on miscellaneous. See how our cash just the flow. They go. And remember, we only have 445,000 barrel per day committed to our daily consumption. So what all this means is that soon all of our daily production will be unavailable to FAC as we have a backlog of cash call to pay. Also, the IOCs are allowed to take cost of oil and royalty oil 
before sharing whatever small change will remain with uh, the country. So from my small barnaculars here in my layman, the hardship ahead of us, eh, it tire apart like lucky traffic. And as the dollar they run, they go without availability of forest. Lastly, I want to ask, NNPC in its last audited statement of account with a reserve of 24.7 billion barre has a total crude oil production entitlement of about 500,000 barre per day and recorded an operating profit of $1.6 billion. Why Petrobras, with a reserve of 10.4 billion barre crude, generated production entitlement of 2.6 million barre per day and recorded an operating profit of 57 million billion, sorry, $57 billion. I don't even want to talk about the operating profit of Saudi Aramco, which is $305 billion compared to our $1.6 billion. Abina Petronas with $31 billion and Qatar Energy with operating profit of $26.7 billion. And we did hear the shout say we they make profit. More they deceive ourselves. I will therefore advocate, apart from the fact that NMPC could do much better with the level and quality of its disclosure than just posting scanned copies of, it, of its audited account on its website as advised by a renowned uh, analyst and economist, Waziri Adio, NMPC should increase its crude oil production exponentially instead of these unnecessary borrowing and settling middlemen as about 46% of its 1.7 trillion naira of the profit in the audited account came from income outside of crude oil. And remember, its income and performance will tremendously impact on the foreign exchange flow into the country and oil revenue available to the federal government. And subsequently also, the forests available to all of us will improve overnight. These things are not magic. I don't know why somebody's not thinking. Anyway, make I pause here for your comment, maybe insults and observation. But always remember to follow us on all our social media platforms, showing on your screen because that's where you can make your comment. When you consistently prick the conscience of those holding society down, expect brickbacks, debt, and mud to be thrown at you by them and their associates. So, the brickbat from Labour Party, I will respond to you people next week. See you then.